Here is a more ecologically valid study in which facial prototypes were used. Each of the faces was made up of features, such as hairstyle, mouth shape, and other attributes. A similar logic as was used in the DOT study was used here. By including three of the four facial features, a 75% similar distortion face could be created. Similarly, 50% and other distortion levels could be created by including fewer of the prototype features. At study, subjects were presented with faces, one at a time. The faces could be either 75%, 50%, or 25% similar distortions of the prototype. Note that the prototype was never shown during study. After a delay interval, which varied across experiments from an a very short delay of a few minutes, following distraction, to a six-week delay in another experiment, subjects were tested. The test items could be either the prototype, which was not shown during study, any of the old faces at 75%, 50%, or 25% similarity, or new faces that could be at 75%, 50%. 25% or 0% similarity to the prototype face. Subjects were asked to make a memory judgment of confidence about how confident they were that the face they were being tested on matched one of the faces they had studied in the previous session. Now let's look at the results. Interestingly, the results from the short and long delays were very similar, indicating long-lasting memory for the face stimuli. These are the results from the study. By the way, we will treat the two different retention interval conditions as if they were the same, because the results were the same. First, look at the y-axis, which shows memory confidence, a zero would indicate no confidence, that is, guessing whether the item was old or new. Increasing positive numbers indicate increasing memory confidence that the item was old, that is, had been previously presented. Increasing negative numbers indicate increasing memory confidence that the item was new that is, had not been previously presented. There were three main findings. First, memory confidence increased for old items as the similarity to the prototype increased, just as we would expect if subjects were using the prototype in memory to make their memory judgments. Next, confidence that new items were new was highest for 0% distortions, and worst for the 75% distortions, which again makes sense because it should be easiest to reject an item and call it new if it is completely dissimilar to the prototype. Finally, perhaps the most interesting finding was that subjects reliable were most confident at calling the prototype face old. Remember, this item had never been presented at study, so this is an error. However, this all makes sense of what the subjects actually have in memory as the prototype, which has been created from the distorted examples which all have a central tendency towards the prototype. This study was taken as strong support for the prototype view. As we now know, exemplar theories can also explain such results, but using a completely different mental representation that does not use prototypes.